Hey everyone and welcome to a new vlog. So I did just finish filming a new video. It's my wrap up and that's why there is a <laughs> discarded shirt on my bed because I was wearing my Heim shirt but then I decided I wanted to change into something a bit more like comfy and loose. So now I have my Evermore shirt on, which we love. I wear this like all the time. As you can tell by how thin it is now, <laughs> um, it's like almost like as thin as tissue paper. It's very thin at this point, very lived in. But yeah, I'm finishing up my iced coffee, which is almost done. A little watery now, but that's okay. And I also just recently got this like task planner thing from Walmart. It was only a dollar. And that's why I decided to pick it up and use it because I have been looking for a planner and I could not find one anywhere we went, at least not one that was like going to work for me. So I'm trying to use it today. This is my first day using it. I don't know if you'll be able to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So I've already filled out some stuff today. I think that this is for like drinking water or something. I'm not really sure, but like I don't really drink glasses of water like this. I have like my water bottle, so I don't know if that counts. But as you can see, it just has like like to-do list, things that you want to do in the future, and like notes and what you're grateful for, whatever, and it has like the date and whatever, which I liked because I figured since it's already April, it would kind of be a waste to get like a structured planner that is like for the 2024 year because I would have already skipped like a couple months. But yeah, I really like this so far. I'm really just wanting to use it to hold myself accountable um, to finish my work in progress. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, we're gonna see if this, you know, works well. I'll try to keep you guys updated. But yeah, like I said, I did just finish filming my wrap up. And I also finished one for my enemy by Olive e. Blake, which I ended up not rating because A, I don't really know what I want to rate that book. Because I did enjoy the first half of the book, but then like the last 50%, I was just not into it. So I don't really know how I feel about this book. I think that if I were to give it like a rating, it'd probably be like a 3.5 or maybe a three star, I'm not sure. But it just was not my favorite, unfortunately. So I did end up reading that and I am currently in the middle of reading a, well actually technically two nonfiction books for a specific reason. <laughs> um, I've been feeling lately that like, the internet is just so toxic, right? Like, I think we can all agree on how just like such a bad environment the internet can be. Like there definitely are like great places on the internet and great people on the internet. And I have so many amazing friends and such an incredibly great community of people that I have built around myself. But like when you leave that little community that you have, it's like people can be truly the worst on the internet. And I feel like more and more lately, especially now, like people have gotten so bad. And it's been really hard for me to like not even just interact with those people, but just to see them on the internet. You know, like these horrible, horrible people who say horrible things in order to get a reaction or whatever and are just like legitimate trolls, just like honest to God, like deep within their soul, they're just a troll. And so I've been trying to practice radical kindness and not give in to like my instinct of like, I want to tell this person how much of a fucking idiot they are, <laughs> which I think we all kind of can struggle with that. But I, I feel like I really envy people who are able to just kind of like see these trolls and not engage at all and not like think anything about it and like not let it affect them. So I have been trying my best to find like nonfiction sort of like self-help books that deal with learning and employing radical kindness. So I've been reading The Keys to Kindness, How to Be Kinder to Yourself, Others, and the World by Claudia Hammond, and I am really, really enjoying it so far. Ooh, I just got um, a notification from Libby that one of my holds is ready. 
it is an education in malice by st gibson so i'm really excited about that i think i should borrow it just to have other than like the books on radical kindness that i've you know checked out from hoopla i have a few other ones but like i don't really have a set i don't really have like a set tbr for april um i don't really have any like plans of what books i want to read i guess it, except for i do have an alc an advanced listeners copy a funny story by Emily Henry so <laughs> um, I'm really excited about that and I definitely want to read that very very soon like I am trying my best not to start it immediately but I also think that this vlog will probably be me reading funny stories so <laughs> um, I was kind of just waiting for me to finish listening to one for my enemy because i didn't want to start too many fiction books at a time i don't mind reading like a fiction book and a non-fiction book at the same time but like too many fiction books are just gonna get jumbled in my head at this moment some days are better than others i can do it sometimes other times not so much but yeah so i think those are all of my plans i have my great little planner drinking my coffee um i think we're gonna start funny story i'm not quite sure but I will keep you guys updated. Also shout out to the Ulta employee that helped me when I was exchanging my uh, concealer at Ulta recently. I, about like two weeks ago, I think, maybe two or three weeks ago, I went to Ulta and I bought some new concealer. I got the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, Cause I really wanted one that obviously was like big and would last a while. But I was also like, I just need a new concealer. And I do like this one. I like the formulation, whatever. And I ended up getting one that was like way too light. It was kind of like my lightest winter shade. And almost immediately after I bought it, I ended up getting <laughs> more tan because the sun finally came out and I was sitting outside a lot and reading my book. And so like immediately it became like chalk on my face <laughs> so I was like okay I gotta go exchange it and thankfully Ulta has an incredible exchange policy um this is not a sponsored post by Ulta <laughs> I just love it there and they were so so kind to me this time around like I've had experiences at Ulta before a lot of times they for some reason like to follow me around the store <laughs> um which is a thing, um, but thankfully this time around I had some incredible people working at Ulta and they were so sweet and one of them helped me pick out a shade that I think looks really good on my face. Like, what do we think? I think it looks good. Um, it looks a little bit light in the packaging, but it works really well on my face, I think, especially as a concealer. So I think it looks good but yeah just wanted to give them a little shout out because they really helped me out they really you know did the thing but yeah i think that's everything that i need to update you guys on and i will let you know later if i start funny story but i think i want to do a little bit of writing just a little bit um and i think that now is like the perfect time to do it because we are in the first week of the baseball season and i am writing a baseball romance so it just, it works perfectly. So this is the weekend that we ended up going to the Angel game and I'm a huge Angels fan and I had such a great time. This was actually a really incredible game to go to, not only because Tori Hunter was throwing out the first pitch, we love Tori Hunter, but they also did end up winning this game. So that was a lot of fun and I had such a good time and had some really great food. We did actually end up going to Downtown Disney the next day, but I didn't vlog any of it. I don't know why I didn't do it. I don't know if I was just like not feeling it that day, but unfortunately I don't have any clips from going to Downtown Disney. The clip that you're currently watching right now is of Tori Hunter throwing out the first pitch, which was super cool and I loved it. And yeah, this game was so much fun. I always love getting to go to a baseball game and I haven't been to one in a while. So yeah, had a great time. Okay, so I told you guys I would update you all and I kind of forgot about it. It is now Sunday night. We just got done watching the Padres versus Dodgers on the TV and that was a great game. It was really fun. 
Um, I always love seeing those two teams play against each other. Unfortunately, my Angels did lose today, and that's a bummer, but you know, we continue on. It's only April. It's totally fine. If you're not a baseball fan, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I am a huge baseball fan, and I just am so happy that baseball season is back in full swing. So, um, yeah just hanging out it's sunday night i already did my skincare and everything i did actually put makeup on today earlier and it is already gone um i have to say that the more i've gone to planet fitness and i haven't been like putting makeup on most days of the week um because i cannot work out in makeup it just it really bothers me the less i want to put makeup on like i just all day today I was like feeling like I was gonna crawl out of my skin just having makeup on so I mean I do want to clean my makeup brushes it could totally be that that like sometimes when my makeup brushes are so dirty because I haven't cleaned them in like way too long um it kind of gets a little gross to me but like also I don't know it could also just be the weather it could be a billion other things but I just have not been feeling the desire or the need to put makeup on. I also started my technically kind of reread, but also first time around of The Love Hypothesis. I read a hundred-ish, maybe a little over a hundred pages of this book a while ago, like years ago. And I never finished it because it was in hardcover and it was kind of around the time when I started to not really like hardcover books anymore. Whereas kind of in my paperback era, which I still am in, I can't even remember the last time I bought a new hardcover. I guess besides Happy Place by Emily Henry. When I buy books, I want to buy them in paperback now. But um, I got this from the thrift store yesterday and I am currently starting it. I decided not to go back to where I left off, mainly because I feel like I don't really remember a lot of what happened. Like, I remember some things, but I felt like I just needed to kind of give myself a refresher, start it from scratch, and I'm really glad I did. So yeah, we're reading this one. I think I kind of want to make a playlist for it though because I don't really know what to listen to while I read it and I'm the type of reader who absolutely needs like the perfect playlist while I read a book. I, I just, I love a good soundtrack. I love a good, you know, perfect handful or two of songs that just fit a book perfectly. So yeah, I'm totally the type of reader who can listen to music while reading and I, I love it. I live for it. So yeah, I feel like those are all the updates for right now. Um, maybe tomorrow we'll do kind of like a cozy day and you know, we'll make some coffee and chill out in my room. I do think I need to film though. So we'll see how I can fit all of that into like one day. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys that update. I think I'm going to uh, chill out in my bed and read more of this book. I'm not sure, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but yeah. Just wanted to give that update. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what I end up doing tomorrow. Okay, so I just got done filming a video. I don't know if it made any sense. I always feel like I say that and then I always get people commenting very sweetly like, oh, that was really good. It made total sense. Like, I don't know why you're like second guessing yourself. I just do that. I do. It's a bad habit of mine, but it's fine. I feel like I have like a hair on me somewhere. I don't know. Um, I really do need to do my nails. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the tortured poets department. Like what color? I'm thinking this color, it's kind of like a mauve grayish color. I don't know. Like this feels very tortured poets department to me but I'm also like it's the middle of spring I don't want to put this color on my nails it's gonna be so depressing but I just really don't have another color to paint my nails so I don't know but yeah I filmed a video hopefully that can be up by tomorrow at some point maybe so yeah super excited about that trying really hard not to get on myself for having a little bit more than a week 
between my postings like my uploads i do feel really bad about that but i'm trying not to like force myself to film or anything um i want it to come a bit more naturally and to have a bit more fun with it so we're trying to keep it casual and light and fun so yeah um this is the outfit for today this is like a thrifted vest sort of tank top thing that i really think is so cute um gonna try to get more use of it this year than i did last year i think it's so adorable and it just like has like these buttons down the front so cute and then i have my little necklace on that i made so cute with all of my little charms and then this anna louisa necklace that i love earrings my hair is in like a half up half down sort of style and yeah drinking my little iced coffee it's really good um i got this like sweet cream creamer and it's iconic it's so yummy and i'm also doing some laundry i did clean my room a little bit which it looks nice but yeah definitely need to figure out what color i'm gonna do my nails i think we'll just go with this one it makes the most sense i don't really have anything else to update you guys on so i'm gonna go and i'm going to check on my laundry okay so it is friday which means that we have had the tortured poets department and the basically the double album um out for not even 24 hours yet thankfully i'm on the west coast so i didn't have to stay up too late the album came out at nine o'clock at night which was nice and then the second album came out at around what was that like 11 o'clock at night um so yeah eek um <laughs> I loved it. It broke my brain. It was everything to me. I am so obsessed. I cannot wait to see what I think about it like as the days go on. You know what I mean? Like I feel like this is an album where I need to kind of let it sit and marinate for a while. Um, I still don't have the lyrics so I'm kind of just piecing everything together from like what I'm hearing in the songs. I know that Genius has the lyrics, but I kind of hate having to go back and forth between like looking at the Genius lyrics and then going to Spotify and then like trying to find the next song and like it's so annoying. Um, I know it's not really that hard, <laughs> but I just like to have everything in one place. So I would like Spotify to put the lyrics in the songs right like let's have that already um also we haven't gotten lyric videos on youtube so that's another thing that is really pissing me off also i kind of want to talk about this because i feel like this relates to a video that i made about a month ago um and that was the is youtube dying whatever or is booktube dead whatever and i kind of talk about like the dwindling audience for youtube booktube etc um and it's so funny because I, I mean to this day to this like morning i've been getting comments being like i don't know i think that's a little like you know i think that's a little dramatic whatever blah blah and i mean like obviously yes it was dramatic because it is a like it is like a clickbait title, obviously. Like, I don't know if people aren't getting that, but also it's kind of true because if you've seen the news, Watcher is leaving YouTube. Like, that's so crazy. That's um, Ryan Bergara and Shane Day's channel, whatever. Um, and I love watching Watcher. I keep up with them. I loved BuzzFeed Unsolved back in the day and have followed them over to their new channel Watcher and now they're leaving YouTube and going to a subscription service which is insane to me but also kind of like validates my claim of like YouTube is dying like what the fuck like what is going on um and it's so funny to me that people were trying to make me seem like I was being dramatic or whatever it's like um do you see that people like big channels are leaving 
like what is going on so yeah that's super concerning to me and my life and everything um it, it is validating in the worst way um but yeah so that's kind of a bummer that's kind of you know some bad news for today um but i mean i guess we'll see what happens I personally will not be following them over to a subscription service. I cannot afford that. There's no way. Um, so unfortunately, that's going to be the end of me watching Watcher. And then, I mean, like every single comment on like Instagram, YouTube, whatever is negative. Like people are very upset about this. So we'll see what happens. But it's such a bad idea, like such a truly bad idea. Um, but I, I think it really goes to show that like creators are getting kind of like <laughs> sick and tired of YouTube and not in the sense of like creating content but like the platform itself and also just like the fact that people are not coming to YouTube quite as often so I don't know whatever I just figured I would mention that because I'm like this kind of has something to do with a video that I made a while ago and I think that that's important to talk about anyway um really enjoyed the album did my nails yesterday they were longer yesterday um but i only kept them for like a few hours at like a really long length but i think that this length is much better for me personally um just allows me to do more with my fingers and my hands because like i like to type and it's harder to type with super long nails so this is about as long as i can keep them without them getting in the way or anything also i'm really upset because <laughs> It took me forever to try to finish this book on Libby and unfortunately somebody was waiting for it after me and I wasn't able to finish it before it had to be returned yesterday so <sighs> I kind of had to leave a book unfinished but hopefully I will get it back soon I I put a hold on it I just wasn't able to renew my thing so yeah now I have to figure out what I'm going to read instead and hopefully try to keep all of that other books knowledge in my brain I don't know how that's gonna work but whatever it's fine um I'm a little bummed because I was really enjoying it but it's a really long audiobook so it was taking me forever and this whole week has been just like my brain has been kind of like turned off because of Taylor and the whole album and you know all of that kind of stuff um, every time there's like so much anticipation for a Taylor album, the closer we get to the album, the less my brain works. So yeah, we're just sitting here trying to figure out what I'm going to read next. I have my coffee. Delicious. Really good. And it's actually in my Taylor cup. I don't know if you could see that. I'm doing good. I'm on some new shit. We love folklore. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the album for the day. Maybe I will go to Planet Fitness. Hopefully we'll see what my brother's up to. And yeah, it's a Friday, so exciting things. And I did make my bed, so even better. And I'm doing my laundry. So for these last few clips, I didn't really do a lot of anything. Like I went to a coffee shop, as you could see, read my book. It's been overcast like this for weeks. And then I ended up going to Planet Fitness, worked out. I mean, I've been doing that like basically every day for the past almost three months, but I've been really enjoying it. And then one of the other days that I tried to vlog, I went to the library. But other than that, I just have not picked up my camera in so long. So it's been really hard for me to like gather any sort of like ending clip so this is basically the end of the vlog just me showing you some of the things i saw at the library it was a lot of fun i had a great time but yeah this is basically the conclusion to the vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully the next vlog will be better